Hey everyone, welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm Sina Kara Suboy, joined by senior writer Daniel Turdeman. Daniel just returned from a trip to Palau in the South Pacific. Right. What were you doing there? Um, I was out there uh, kind of documenting this uh, expedition by a group called the Bent Prop Project. Uh, along with oceanographers from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography and the Uni University of Delaware. And what they were doing uh, is hunting underwater uh, in the seas just off of Palau for um, airplanes that were shot down during uh, World War II, where there's thought to be uh, you know, lots and lots of um, airmen who were missing in action. What have they found? Well, this year, right before I got there, they found two uh, airplanes. One was a, a TPM Avenger, and the other one was an F-6F Hellcat. And these are planes that they've uh, have been missing since 1944. What is the ritual when they do find one of these downed planes? Because this is a huge piece of history, obviously. Right. They took the boat to right over the two different sites, and they did this twice, once once for each site. And they had what they call a flag ceremony. After they folded them, they handed them to one of the bent prop uh, team members, who uh, is a former Navy lieutenant commander, and he will personally make sure that those flags eventually end up in the hands of the families of the airmen. What is involved in uh, discovering these planes? How do they find them, locate them? Um, it's, it, there's so many different pieces of that. It, it can be anything from uh, you know, an eyewitness account from a, a Palauan uh, who saw where it happened. The team spent a lot of time at the uh, American National Archives looking through you know, old records, trying to find any, anything that refers to uh, the planes uh, being shot down. Then the technology element of it, which uh, is, is, is fairly new, oceanographers have these um, underwater autonomous vehicles called Remuses, and they look like little torpedoes, um, they're like $300,000 a piece, and they're, they're packed with all these sensors and cameras and everything, so they, um, they are programmable, they're autonomous, they put them off the boat, they sink down underwater, and then they go out on these pre-programmed missions and they'll work these grids, kind of like going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, scanning the seabed, the oceanographers will kind of like literally go through like frame by frame by frame of this imagery, looking for anything that seems out of the ordinary. What about the average tourist? If we were to travel to Palau, can we experience any of this World War II history? There's an old Japanese plane that um, is there now. It wasn't actually sunk there. Apparently they, they, they brought it there to, to make it uh, available for uh, just the average snorkeler, but but for people who are a little bit more adventurous, there's all kinds of things that are in their original spots, and that like you know dive tours would 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 take them out. What are some other must-visit spots on Palau if you're going to travel that far? So you have this lake that's seawater, um, and that has like rising and lowering tides, um, and in this lake, jellyfish lake, uh, you have millions of these beautiful non-stinging jellyfish, and they're just sort of you know magical, very slow moving around, and you can snorkel. Um, in, in uh, amongst them, as long as you're careful. Well, we are glad you're back in one piece. Thank you so much for sharing your stories. My pleasure. CNET senior writer Daniel Turdeman. I'm Kara Suboy. Thanks for watching this Inside Scoop.